Hi everybody! I've just decided to pop outside to collect some natural resources for today's miniature mic. It was very windy overnight, so I needed to give my garden a little bit of a tidy up first. I've just bought a new sweeping brush. I've needed this for ages, um, but it comes in two parts, so I needed to put it together. So, I was sweeping up my patio whilst I was doing my gardening and I suddenly had a moment of inspiration and thought, I'm going to make a miniature broom for my Tudor kitchen. So as I collected up these twigs, I decided to have a look through them to see if any of them would be the correct size to make bristles for my broom. Unfortunately these were a little bit too thick and they were also too thin to be the broom handle so I needed to have a rethink. So I remembered that I had these alliums that had dried out and I thought actually these stalks that were holding each of the little flowers would be ideal for the bristles of my miniature 12th scale broom. There were no seeds left in the alliums, so I decided to take these to use. I popped a hair grip around them to keep them all together whilst I went in search for a stick that I could use as the broom handle. So I remembered that I had this branch that I'd cut off my willow tree and I cut this off quite a while ago and it's been sat in here for quite a while. So I decided to trim a bit of this twig off. It was nicely dried out because it had been in here for quite a long time and I really liked the fact that it wasn't completely straight. I wasn't sure how I was going to add the bristles so I had a look through this little basket of tiny items, string, cotton, needles and thread um, and I had to think about what I could do. I decided to neaten off the ends first. This helped me to see whether I needed all of these pieces or whether I should use slightly less. I decided to work outside today because First of all I wanted to get some fresh air and secondly I had some gardening to do and I thought if I was going to use any glue whilst it was drying I could go and do the gardening. So I took a piece of this, um, I'm going to call it trim, I don't know what exactly it is but I had it in my basket of bits. I think I bought this from the Dolls House Fair in York and it looks very much to me like the material used to make a straw hat. Um, so that might be what it is and I decided to cut a length of this and then add some glue and stick down my bristles made out of the allium stalks. At first I was going to stick them down one at a time to make it really really neat and then suddenly there was a gust of wind and all of these allium stalks started to blow everywhere and I was suddenly wondering whether I should actually be doing this project inside. I then moved on to trying to do a little bunch at a time. I was concerned that the glue was going to dry out before I'd stuck all the bristles down. 
Of course, by doing it in bunches, this did mean that some of the pieces were coming loose. <laughs> and it was very, very windy. I've just left the sound on here so that you can hear the wind. It wasn't like this when I first went outside. <laughs> anyway, I persevered and I had to keep collecting the things that had blown away. This wasn't looking as neat as I'd hoped it was going to, but I think one of the reasons was because it was so windy um, and also because I didn't want the glue to dry. I collected a few more of these allium stems from one of the other alliums because the ones that I was using blew away and I tried to fill some of the gaps. I then put a line of glue over the top. This was going to be the inside of the broom so you wouldn't be able to see this bit when it's finished. So I decided to put this bit of glue over the top just to hold down any loose stalks that hadn't gripped onto the glue at the bottom. And then I left it to dry. When it was dry, I came back and I trimmed along the top to make it nice and even. I then thought about where I was going to place my stick. And I added some more glue along where the trim was underneath. I then rolled all of these stems around the twig. And I decided that I actually didn't need this full length, so I went and found another twig because I thought I could maybe make two. So I trimmed at that point and stuck that down. And then I took the second twig, which was slightly thinner, and glued this one in place. I was trying to work quite quickly because obviously I'd put glue along the full length so it was drying whilst I was looking for the second twig. So this one is slightly thinner and slightly smaller. I hadn't actually thought about the measurements fully for the doll's house, I was guessing. So it was good to have one that was bigger and one that was smaller because I will choose the one that fits the best. Now the end of the allium stalks have those beautiful bits where they hold the seeds. Um, I really like how they look but I am going to have to give them a trim so that they look a little bit more realistic. I neatened it to off a little bit and made sure that all the bristles were laying in the correct direction. Some of the feathery bits had become stuck in between some of the bristles so I gently prized them out just to neaten it off a little bit. Now of course at this point I didn't know how long the handles of these brooms needed to be, 
So I did take them into the doll's house at this stage rather than just guessing and I held them up to see where I thought they needed to be trimmed. I thought for quite a while about which one was the better one. Um, I wasn't quite sure so I trimmed them both. I knocked Henny the chicken into the sink and I've damaged her. Oh, I'm sorry Henny. She's one, one of her... Oh. Oh, Henny. Right, okay, I'll turn her that way because that side's not damaged and I will fix her. So I think I prefer this broom in terms of proportions, but the bristles are too long on it in comparison to the handle. So it does need trimming down a little bit. Yeah, this broom definitely looks a little bit too small for the space, but I'll still tr trim down the handle because I want to have a think, do I want both brooms in the kitchen? I could do. So I had a little think about where to stand the broom. Was it going to stand here behind the basket? In which case I would maybe leave the bristles a little bit longer because I like the height that it's standing at. I definitely think that this smaller broom doesn't look right when stood against the pumpkins because it looks really small in comparison to the pumpkins. I then considered it at the back here and then I had another thought. I wondered whether in the Tudor era, people would have had a little brush about the size of a dustpan and brush. I have no idea, but when I trimmed it straight away, I liked it. So I'm going to keep it here by the fireplace. So I trimmed this one down so that it was the correct size. and I popped it back into the doll's house kitchen. Where do you think it should go? I'm thinking it should probably stand here. My second option's here. but I don't like it close to the fireplace because the other one's there. So I think there, but if you think somewhere different, please do let me know. Um, let me know which little brush you like best and I will see you in the next video. I think there's a chance that the next Dolls House video might be the one where I show you the surprise that I have for my Tudor Dolls House. I'm really excited to show you, but I'm saving it until I'm at 2000 subscribers as a little celebration. We're nearly there. So yeah, it might be the next Dolls House video. How exciting. See you next time.